Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hillary with Budget to Bougie, and today we are going to try out <clears throat> um, a new, not, not new, but it's a cosmetics line sold in Dollar General stores. It's called Believe Beauty. Now I know Jeffree Star did a huge review on it, um, gave it <clears throat> some of the products some really good praises. I don't know if I picked up any of any of those I don't wear. I did not pick up the eyeliner. I don't wear eyeliner, so I didn't pick any of that up. So what I did pick up was the Believe Beauty Skin Finish Tinted Moisturizer. Um, their shade range is not the best. Um, every <laughs> every single bottle that I looked at, this little like mirror or little window thing, every color looked the same. My cats are fighting. Hold on. Holy guacamole. Okay. Back to what I was saying. The little window on this moisturizer, tinted moisturizer, it had the same color for every shade except for when you got into your little tanner shades. There really wasn't any, any shade for <clears throat> darker complexions. Um, but like the one I went to was a small little end cap. It wasn't, there wasn't hardly anything there or anything left. But yeah, every shade was exactly the same. So I just picked one out and um, I went with the color natural. I went with natural. So I'm actually hoping it works because if it works, I'm starting to do um, reviews on natural beauty. And when I say natural beauty, I mean when you go out of the house but you don't want to put a ton of makeup on but you need to cover some shit up. That's me. Like on the weekends I don't like to wear makeup. But I don't want to go out with my face the way it looks. Like it's always, I don't know, I got bags, I got wrinkles, I got I got everything I don't want. But I want to kind of cover it up but not to the point where I have to put a full beat on. I just want to put it on and look like I'm going to the grocery store but I take care of myself. <laughs> In reality, maybe I don't. But that's what I'm looking for. So. In my next few reviews, I'm going to be doing BB creams and tinted moisturizer. This is the first one I picked up. It is $4.50 at Dollar General. So if it works, $4.50, that's a, that's a really, really good budget price. So um, the next product I picked up from the line was this palette. Um, it is actually, the colors are very fall and very, very pretty. So right there, I don't know, my camera doesn't do a very good job. Oops, I just did that. So these would be your mattes, but they actually look like a satin finish, um, almost. And these would be your metallics right up here, and this would be your shimmer. So one shimmer, two metallics, three matte slash satins. Um, it's a very, very, they're very pretty, very fall colors, so I'm very, very excited about that. So then the other thing I picked up was the Believe Beauty setting powder. Now everybody knows, if you've been following me on Twitter, I've been begging for people to give me ideas for setting powder. I haven't bought the one that Nady has um, recommended. It's a bamboo finish, um, but I will pick that one up. I have to order it online, but I have not bought it yet. So I picked this one up. I want to say it was $4.50. They had two colors. They had translucent. This is like got a little bit of a color to it. I don't want to dump it out. It's got a little bit of a color. It says translucent, but it's like a tinted. It's tinted translucent. It's not a white. And that was, the other one they had was white. And I didn't want that one. So I got the tinted one. It's like a flesh colored, or I don't even know if flesh colored is the right word, but it's not white. But I'm excited about it. Um, it's very, very fine milled. Like, it is so soft. Mm, there's no smell. But, so that's good. There's no smell to it, but it is very, 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 very soft. Okay, and the last thing I picked up was the Voluminous Mascara from this little guy. Now, we all know I'm a picky bitch when it comes to mascara. I don't like mascara that's runny, and I don't like mascara that's glumpy. So, um... I'd never have high hopes for mascara, no matter what brand it is that I buy. I always think it's going to be garbage until I try it on. Um... So, this, oh, it's just mascara smell. There's really, this is a plastic brush. So if you don't like plastic brushes, you will not like, look what I just did that. Oh my goodness. 
Yeesh. Um, it's plastic brush. So if you don't like those types of brushes, you won't like this. Um, even if the formula is amazing, you won't like it because it's a plastic brush. That's all I picked up. So, <clears throat> I have already washed my face. Actually, I just rinsed it because I don't wash it in the morning. And then I put on my Jasmine Green Tea Herbivoric Toner. I washed my two under the skin pimples that just don't want to go away with my Facial Radiance Pads by First Aid Beauty. I love these. These are amazing. And then I prep my under eye area with my e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm. I love this stuff. I use it every day. Um, it just makes your eyes, it just cools them down, but it also gives out a little barrier. Um, this morning, completely off topic, I tried a product, and I, I love this company, but forever, they've literally been failing on their eye patches. Like, ugh! So, Burt's Bees has some really, really great products, and I was hoping that this would be one of them. Their last eye patch that I tried was Fabric, and the oil in it, I absolutely adore. I hated the eye patches because they wouldn't stay on. They literally were just crap. So, I actually found the oil, the Complete Nourishment Face Oil. This is what was in, the, was in those Fabric eye patches that they didn't stay on your face. So, I just bought the oil straight out, and I love it. So... They have these new eye patches at Target, and I was like, oh, I love the products in it, but not the product itself, like the ingredients, okay? So, I picked up this guy. Um, I was like, oh, maybe they, because they had, like, they redid the whole set, and I was like, oh, maybe they redid everything, blah, 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 and I was like, oh, it's a gel pad. I love gel eye mask. Okay. <sighs> nope. This guy, this is what it looks like. It's a gel patch. It goes under your eye, right? It will not stay on to save your life. You're literally pushing up, pushing up, pushing up. Slides, slides, slides. I've tried to put it on the way it said to. Slid, turned it around, slid. It won't stay on your freaking eye. It won't stay in place. It, like, just slides down your face. I was always continuously full. Ten minutes pushing them up on my eyes. So, so it's a big fat no for me. Um, don't waste your money. Sorry. And it was like $3.99. So I know that's a budget price, but when you're having to sit there and push them up on your face the whole 10 minutes, nah, sis, I'm out. Okay. So I did that. Um, <clears throat> so let's go in. Let's just go into this. I purposely did not put primer on my face because this is a moisturizer. <laughs> I don't know what this is going to do, but we're going to see. I'm going to pull up my janky mirror, everybody. You guys, I watched the Jeffree Star trailer with Shane, Shane Dawson. I support my, my boy. I am so freaking excited for that pig mirror. It is the most adorable thing in the world. Like, I, I was like, oh, oh, it's so cute. I can't wait. Okay, so we're going to go in with this. Um, now... There's like a fresh smell. It's not stinky. Like it doesn't smell like chemicals, I guess you could say. A light bounce fabric softener sheet you put in your dryer. That's what it smells like, but like 10 times lighter. Like it's not overwhelming. So we're going to go in and... Um, Lately, I've been putting all of my foundation on with my fingers and then just even buffing it out with a brush. I know, weird, weird, but that's what I've been doing and it's been working really, really well. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, just eh, the smell's still there a little bit. Um, so if you're bothered by fragrances, you won't like this because it it's still there. I'm sure it'll wear off, but for now, it's still there. have it on my hands. It is very, very light. I will say that. I'm going to grab a wipe. 
wipey here, sorry. Um, first reaction to it is very light. Uh, it's, it covers pretty well. Um, I would say it doesn't really cover those two, but that's my under the skin annoying zit. So that didn't really cover it up. Um, let me go in a little bit closer. Um, okay, so my trench area, that I love to call my trench area, it actually did not cake up, which I'm super happy. It's not oily. Um, it's tacky, which is kind of weird, I guess. Um, smells gone, so that's good. It didn't like cake up in my eyebrows, because sometimes if I get it in my eyebrows, it'll like have that, you know, cakiness to it. You know, just fluff it out. Um, because it's tinted, obviously, and it's, you know, it is heavier than I, than I expected. Like, it's, it's light weight, but I think because of the moisturizing properties in it, it's a little bit more, um, heavier than a BB cream, maybe, is what I'm trying to say. I'm not mad at this. Honestly, I would wear this out and about. Like, I see it's covered up quite a bit of this. And it's covered up my trench area, which I absolutely hate because it's really, my, my side of my nose has these little red streaks. I know sometimes you can see them, sometimes you can't. But for whatever reason, like under my nose right here and around my nose, I, I got them when, you know, right after I turned 40 and they just won't go away. I actually talked to my dermatologist and she said that I would have to go and have, <laughs> I would have to have go in and have this liquid put into these veins, I don't even know what they're called, but to make them disappear. First of all, this girl don't do needles in her face, so that's never going to happen. And second of all, there's got to be a better way. <laughs> there's no way. The only result you could do is sticking a freaking needle in my nose. I cannot do that. That's like one of my biggest fears, having needles and scalpels and everything on my face. Like It freaks me out. I actually canceled the appointment with my plastic surgeon to have my mole removed because it scares me to death. Not as much as the dentist. I freaking hate, straight up hate the dentist. Not, I don't hate a plastic surgeon as much, but it's just the idea of them going in and, ugh, needles in my face. I just, ugh, gross. But don't worry, this is going away someday because I literally hate it. I've had it my whole life and I absolutely, I've hated it my whole entire life. Like. It gets infected. It has little hairs that grow out of it. I mean, it's just the most annoying, stupid thing on my face, and I absolutely hate it. So someday, I'm going to come on camera, and it's going to be gone. It's just a fact. I'm going to have to be a big girl, get over it, and have it removed, because I absolutely hate it. Anyway, that's a story you probably didn't want to hear, but that's what I do. Okay. I sat down for my little mini rant. It's actually doing really, really well. I'm surprised, honestly. Like, it's not cakey. Like, usually after it sets, you can tell, like, it'll start to go in your fine lines or whatever. It's not doing that. It's not even doing that around my trench, which is shocking to me. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, I'm super excited about this. Next product we're going to go in with is the setting powder. Now, we all know, if you've been watching my channel or seen me on Twitter rant about freaking setting powders, I don't know what it is about my face, but setting powders absolutely hate it. The only one I've ever really had, well, first, before I was 40, Laura Mercier was like my go-to powder. Like, it was amazing. Then after I turned 40, it went to the shitter. I don't know what happened to my face. My face has changed within the last year. Like, I can tell. I mean, I, I would say I've been religiously, since January, been doing stuff to help stop my signs of aging, like my texture, my pores. I've been religiously doing it toning moisturizing masking anything to help it and my skin has changed just in a year um some on the good side some just it's because i'm 46 years old like i know this and setting powder is not my friend right now <laughs> because i put it on and it falls into my crevices and my cracks and, and i just ugh, it's so annoying so we're gonna go and we're gonna give a a good try for this little guy. So we're going to go in with my um, busted ass Morphe sponge that I use for my setting powders. We're going to dampen it up with my little wipey I have. And by the way, I still use the Yes 2 um, wipes, but I also have a new favorite, um, the Shea Moisture. <coughs> Excuse me, Shea Moisture. Like these are amazing and they 
Oh my god, they smell so good. I just love them. So, yes to and Shea Moisture are my two favorite wipes right now. Okay, guys, I'm back. It never stops in this house. It's literally nonstop. Cats, dogs, children. It's a whole thing. So, let's get back. So, the setting powder, I just did clean my sponge off, so it's a little damp. And I'm just going to go in. Oh, it's really fine. Like, it's like, poof, poof. <laughs> okay. And let's go in under the eye. So like, if you can tell, I don't know if you can tell. So I don't do like this little part. I do this part. I do kind of, I fluff it up though. And then we'll redo it. So let's go to this other side. And this is what I do every morning when I wear foundation. So, and I kind of go over to the sides here. I've noticed though that setting powders, no matter which one it is, makes this area, my trench, itch like crazy. It drives me insane. Because then I just rub it off when I'm done. So here is where I go and I kind of pack it in there on my pores. Probably not what I'm supposed to do, but whatever. So, okay, we're going to let that sit for a momento. One minute. So, first impressions it's super light. Light, like airy light. Um, it went on really nicely, actually. I don't, I think this is really, really nice, honestly. There's no smell, there's absolutely no smell to it. Um, but yeah, it's like silk. Like it is so finely milled. I would, I would, I would say this, the, the feeling of this is as good as, um, ABH or even that new Urban Decay one. Like it's just like silk. So let's wipe it off. I usually don't let it sit too long because I don't want it to get cakey. So we'll just set it off. And this is where I just kind of blend it. I wipe it off and then I blend it upwards a little bit. Because I don't want to get it stuck under my eye. And then I brush down. And this is when my iron nose starts to itch. And it could be a brush. Who knows? Um, okay, so let's take a look. Okay, so it's just sitting there. It's not going anywhere, which is good. Now, Granted, I don't have any kind of primer on, so if it falls in, as it'll be expected because I don't have it. But I don't, this little area right here, it kind of gave it a blurring effect, honestly. Like, this is where my pores are the worst, like right in here. Like, this is where they are the biggest and the worst. And it's not going into it. Now, we'll give it a, little, a minute or so, and then... Um, We'll take, take, check back. But so far, um, it instantly didn't fall on my pores, which I'm super excited about. And my fine lines are, they're kind of holding right now. So we're just keep an eye on that while we move on to the next step. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now, the setting powder has not fallen into any of my fine lines, cracks, crevices. It's done really, really well. It's held up. I also put my brows on and did some contouring and blush. This area right here, has not done anything with the tinted moisture, tinted cream that I didn't want it to do. Like, it's not cakey. It's, it's, really, it's still a little tacky, um, but I didn't put powder down there. And it feels good. It feels really, really nice. Um, the setting powder hasn't fallen, and I'm super excited about that. This is literally just sitting on top, fine as silk, absolutely beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. I love this setting powder. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And mind you, this was out with, I didn't put any primer. The only thing I put under my eyes was my e.l.f. prep and hydrate balm. That's it. I didn't put any of my angel veil on. I didn't put any Tatcha on. I didn't do any primer. This is like setting on here beautifully. Like it's gorgeous. So I love the setting powder. I'm going to be using probably every day because I, I've never seen a setting powder just sit there and just be absolutely gorgeous. Skin finish. Um, I'll use this with the setting powder. So... I'll have a natural looking face and I won't have to throw on a ton of makeup. So those two products are a very, very big yes for me so far. Eyeshadow palette. It is the plush purples, everybody. So we're going to go in. Um, the first shade we're going to go into is this one up here. It's this little matte. So we'll see how matte it is. Sometimes mattes are really, really, they have a lot of kickback. It's okay if there's kickback in the pan. I don't like a whole lot of kickback in the pan. But when it starts to fall on my eyes, like, I don't like that. I think that's the most annoying thing. And yes, I do have eye patches, but I don't wear them and I regularly. And I, I don't feel like 
if I'm just going to do an everyday look going to work, I'm not going to stick eye patches on my face. That's just me. I mean, that's just how I view it. So quite a bit falls off. Um, okay, we're going to go in. I need to get my mirror. Okay. And I just go up. Now I do have very, very, very hooded eyes. So this, this is my lid space. This would be my lid space. This is my crease. And then I have to pull it up above my crease because once I open my eye, everything gets hidden. Now, there's no, hardly any fallout, not that I can tell, of this shadow. And this shadow is soft. very very light color which is what I wanted it was um, a transition color so I'm okay with that we're gonna go in with this um, this little color this is the metallic we're gonna actually do two metallics we're gonna do this one and we're gonna do this one so we're gonna go in with this one and ooh. okay when I swirled it on the pan it's darker than it actually was on the like on the top so I don't know if that's a spray I mean, it's still a little bit of a metallic. I wouldn't say it's like... Okay, we're just going to go in because it's really, really strange. So, it's pretty dark. Like, you can tell. We're going to go in with this really beautiful metallic purple. Just swirl it in the pan right here. Let's see what it does. Also, I might need to cut crease, but I have put little eyes, so I stay away from cut, cut creases because they never work out and it's just a big ass mess, so I don't even do it. But this purple color is absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can see this color on camera as well, but oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. Like, super pretty. Okay. I'm gonna do another color. I usually don't do 50 colors on my eyes, but. I kind of want to see what this color does right here because it's light and it's supposed to be a matte. I like that. I like that a lot actually. We're gonna actually gonna go in with my gray again. very very soft they blend very easily as you can tell I don't know if you can tell on camera as well as like but they blend amazingly this purple color is gorgeous like it's absolutely beautiful okay we're gonna go into this color right here whatever it is it's a metallic and we're gonna go right here and I usually don't ever put anything under my eyes because I look like I had some kind of accident with uh, makeup but today we're just gonna go there <laughs> we're gonna go in there with this purple because this purple is actually is just so beautiful all right I'm just gonna do this I'm gonna try to see if it'll sometimes when you spray your brushes and you put them back in the pan it ruins it if that happens I'll probably cry nope it didn't ruin it thank god okay we're gonna make this a little bit more vibrant because this purple color is absolutely just gorgeous Go in on that. I don't know if you can tell. But look how pretty that is. Like, I'm going to get really close. You guys are going to hate me. Look at that purple. Look how pretty that is. Like, it is just super vibrant. I'll put a little bit more under here so it looks like I have a black eye. Because, you know, <laughs> that's what happens when I try to do a smoky eye. It just becomes a mess. That purple is gorgeous. Okay. I like that. I like that color a lot. And I don't usually like purples. So, let's get the rest of this fluffed out. 
and then I will do my other eye and I'll come back and start with we'll put the mascara on and see what we got. You guys, I am not mad at this at all. Like I never do a smoky eye because it looks like I literally have a black eye when I'm done, but this look I think I did a pretty good job. Um, the colors are absolutely beautiful. They all went on soft. They blended nicely. They were easy to apply. I'm going to brush some fallout off. Sorry about that. Other than that, I think it's a freaking bargain. I mean, you get six colors for five bucks. Like, I don't even know if it's five bucks. It's like literally under five dollars. But you, it's amazing. And there's not a ton of fallout in the pan. The shimmers do an amazing job. Um, I just love it. Like, I, I'm surprised. I actually do love it. It's, it's very, very beautiful. I love that purple. Like, I applied probably a little heavy on it, but I love it. Uh, this is a beautiful, under $5, five, fall palette. Like, there's nothing else out there that you can buy for this, to get this kind of payoff for that kind of money. Also, so, I don't know if you can see, this setting powder has not fallen into my lines yet. It's sitting on my damn face beautifully. I am so freaking happy about this. I know I sound like a broken record, but you don't know. The search is real. A real search for old ass women's skin that just doesn't work. And this powder is, it's under $5. What? It's amazing. It's amazing. Okay, we're moving on. So the big question is, is this mascara going to be worth a crap? Let's go in. My blind butt can't see, but we're trying this. And, okay, so we're going in. Um, sorry, I gotta turn it because I literally can't see. I'm blind AF. So, it's not runny, which I love. When I blink, it doesn't come off onto my cheeks. That is the most annoying thing ever. It is very, it's not thick, okay, it's thick, but not gloppy. I don't know if that makes sense to you. That's how I, 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 I find that sometimes mascaras that aren't runny are too thick and they get gloppy, which to me means that like when you put them on your lashes, they stick together and they're like kind of sticky, but I can tell that I... If you put more than two coats of this mascara on, it is going to not be your friend. It's going to stick your lashes together and it's going to look like, if anybody of you know who this woman is, if you're my age, it will give you Tammy Faye Baker eyes. Thus, you can Google that, look at her images. Any more than two coats, I'm afraid that's what this would do. Um, is it a good formula? I mean... For the money, yeah, it's a $5 mascara, uh, for sure. It's not anything to write home about. Um, it's just a normal mascara. Am I going to say, you know, for a budget-friendly mascara, 100% yes. If you're a babe on a budget and you want to go out to eat but you need makeup, buy this. Buy the, these products, you can do both. You'll be able to go out to eat and look good. There's my takeaway on the mascara. Okay, other eyes done. I put my lipstick on, and this is the final look. Um, I still need to do my hair, which is always the last thing I do because it's really super annoying. Okay, so I'm going to go in and put my favorite Gerard Cosmetics setting spray on. This is Dreamsicle. Literally, this smells like the orange vanilla ice cream bars that you got when you were a kid. I absolutely love those things. They were so freaking delicious. Um, and yes, I use a lot of setting spray. I kind of redundant, but I do. That's what I do. Okay. Um, final thoughts. I actually love this palette. Like, I love, love, love this palette. Um, the setting powder. This is probably my favorite out of everything. Like, 100% my favorite. This stuff is still sitting on my skin. It is not going in my pores. It is not going in my fine lines. I can't believe, believe, that this is as good as it is. Like, it's crazy good. 100% good. 
Okay, next, the Skin Finish BB Cream. I do like this. I will say, though, that if you have oily skin, this is not going to be for you. Um, it, the, the moisturizing properties in it make it a little bit more like a, a tinted lotion. Just make sure you know. If you have oily skin, whatever it is you do to make it not as oily, you're going to have to do with this. Um, mascara, it's, you know, it's just a dollar store mascara. It's $5, so if you need an emergency mascara, you've got this. It'll work. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, is it exciting? No, it's just a mascara. It's not that big of a deal. The other thing I picked up, I picked up at Ulta the other day, um, was this guy. This is the two, what is it called? Too Cool for School Eye Serum Eye Patch. I <laughs> love this. Like, it was $6. I got it for three something because it was on sale. But these are literally the biggest eye patches I've ever put on my skin. So they go from here all the way down here. Like they fill this whole area in. And these just, this says to leave it on for 30 minutes. I only left it on 10 because I don't got that kind of time in the morning. But if you want a really, really nice eye patch that stays in place, doesn't go and slime down on your face and just makes everything like baby skin soft after it's done, this is what I would ask you to buy because I cannot believe how amazing this is. Um, just like the Yes 2, the coconut and the coffee, this is kind of the same deal except for this works a little bit differently. This doesn't really perk you up. This makes everything soft and it it just, I can't believe how soft it makes your skin. Like it's, it's absolutely incredible. I put it on, like I said, I'm only 10 minutes and I have those results. I cannot wait to wear it for 30 minutes and then it's, I, I am just so excited about it. But... I would say that if you're at Ulta and you need a good eye patch, this buy this. <laughs> I know it's six dollars. It's still a budgeted item, but if you can get it, sometimes they have sales that are like 40, 50 percent off. I want to say this was 50 percent off because it was only three bucks. So it's definitely worth the money, and you don't have to keep it on for 30 minutes. Like I said, I had it on for 10, and I still got amazing results. Oh, before I say that, I want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. Like I have my Twitter giveaway, and I picked the winner. But thank you, thank you, thank you for coming to my channel and subbing. I absolutely love seeing new people. Like, I love scrolling through and they're like, blah, 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 subscribe, blah, 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 subscribe. Like, I love that. I love it that people actually want to come and see me have my rants and blah, 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 blah. So, thank you so much for doing that. Um, so, but with, with that, as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of me, please hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified when my videos upload, please ring the bell. All right, guys, it's been a crazy train ride today. With that, thank you for watching, you guys. I hope you have a great week. Bye.